brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, I know I said wide open phones today and no guests, but news develops here. So your calls are coming up at the bottom of the hour throughout the rest of the show. I will do an analysis of why is Obama going to release new torture, as they call them, abuse photos. We'll be breaking that down. Latest developments on the economy. A bunch of police state news. They've introduced bills to arrest you under federal felonies if someone says your email site or your news story hurt their feelings. You can't make this up. It actually says it. We've been talking about that since last week, but it's racing through the House now. Other hate crimes bills restrict free speech and a... Violent Extremist Act that says that the Attorney General thinks you might be violent or a terrorist someday. That's what Rahm Emanuel said in the speech. We're going to play it later. But now they've got a law they're trying to pass where you can't then own a gun. The right-wingers, returning veterans, the American people. I mean, this is high treason. It's actually happening. That is coming up after we take a bunch of your phone calls. Um, Joyce Rowley, talk show host here on the Genesis Network from 7 in the morning to 10, right before Derry Brownfield, they had this lady on who said that neighbors were told the police were coming that day to a victor, even though she had the letter and the court case. No paid in full. They'd sold it to another company, Wachovia. They're saying, no, we're not honoring that. We're taking it. I have experienced this, where they sold my mortgage three or four times and then just took the escrow money and said I hadn't paid it and we're going to take my house, and they were suing me to take it, and I had to go prove all this. I have a little four acres, and it turned out we did pay it on some land out in by Johnson City. And uh, I just got a big bill, and they're saying they're taking it. I mean, folks, this is happening to everybody, and i got to go fight that or they'll take it, even though we have the record we sent them the check. and they, you know, This is how they operate. Now, Joyce, just during the break, got some new information. So for stations that just joined us, Joyce, and quite a few just joined us, uh, tell, recap what's happened in Missouri, the lady's name and the new developments, and then we'll play this audio that was recorded after your show ended. Don Welch has been a, a listener to Genesis Network for five years, and she's very well aware of what her rights are. So when this first mortgage company, uh, when she was smart enough to write to the mortgage company and ask them if they still owned the note and if uh, her mortgage was paid in full, they sent her back in writing, yes, your mortgage is paid in full. Well, the mortgage had been sold to Wachovia. Wachovia then enters in, though their name is not on the lien, and they have no equity interest in her home, they went to the judge and, of course, the sheriff, and told them to go ahead and take the house. Well, she went through the whole proceedings, all the time standing up for herself and challenging them every step of the way. She put notices on her front and back door. She put up no trespassing signs. She said, this is my property, and I will not voluntarily give it up. So as a result of that, over the last few months, we've known that there were some problems there and that the police were going to come. They sent it one uh, note to her saying that we will come within five days. She put a note up saying, I will sue you as a private individual, Mr. Sheriff, if you do this. Well, they did come today. And when they came to her home at about, uh, now we had her on the air for, at 8 o'clock central, and they um, came to her house. At about uh, 8.45, they started gathering around with the ambulance, the uh, uh, Humvee, and all the vehicles started gathering away from her home. Now, her home is right next to the uh, uh, fairgrounds there in Hillsborough, Missouri. So they gathered all around there, kind of like they did with Waco. So we got really concerned. We're afraid of what was going to happen to her. And at about uh, 9 o'clock, uh, excuse me, 10 o'clock, we went off the air. And we were off the air and unable to uh, keep contact with the listeners, which is why I'm so appreciative that you were willing to put this on, because these people have been hanging not knowing what happened. Well, we taped from 10 a.m. on, because John was able to get it connected up there at Genesis and help us out with Ted's uh, uh, involvement there. And what we did was we continued to tape this in an ongoing fashion so that we could hear her and had her on the phone the whole time at approximately 10:25, they then began to come to her door to break it down with the battering ram they came to her door started screaming for her to come outside she refused to do so they knew she was not a a person who was going to harm them and so they weren't even showing any weapons at the time 
but she was unfortunately the victim of them breaking down her door. And what you're going to hear is the sound this morning at 10.30 Central Time when they broke down her door. Then after that, I'll give you the update of what I just learned has happened to her since that time. But this is so chilling. I want everybody to take this off of InfoWars and get it onto your email. Send it out and let people hear what it's like for a 54-year-old grandmother who's trying to save her home for her children and her grandchildren. And then meanwhile, the bankers have stolen 14 uh, plus trillion, and they say, we're not going to tell you where it is. In fact, uh, here's Bloomberg uh, today. Fed Inspector General claims she does not know where the trillions went and doesn't have to tell anybody. Later, I'm going to play clips of, of, of the Defense Department saying they won't say where trillions have gone. It's just a rogue criminal government. And I will again remind people, I had Bank of America a few years ago buy my mortgage from my mortgage company. It had been sold many times. And then just take the escrow money and, and, and start suing me to take my house, even though I had the title company and everything that I'd paid it. They said, we don't care. And I had to counter sue them to get them to back off. Well, a lot of, you know, uh, people who are broke can barely buy groceries. You know, they, they've paid off their mortgage. That's who they come after. Uh, let's go ahead now. Here is the audio of what happened today uh, live. This hasn't been heard yet. Uh, yet. This is the first time it's being heard. It'll be posted at InfoWars.com if you missed this, or at PrisonPlanet.com or at ThePowerHour.com. Uh, but here it is live right now from what happened today at 1025 Central Standard Time. Here it is. I need you to open the door. We have a court order for you. Sheriff's Department, I need you to open the door. Open. We have a court order for you. We need you to open the door. We have an execution for your resident. No. Nope. If we don't open the door, we're going to break the door, ma'am. Ma'am, you need to open the door. I can hear your voice. Hello? Yes, we're here. We're here. We're here with you. Sheriff's Department, open the door. I'll have to put the, the phone down and just put my hands out, guys, whenever they walk in. Mm-hmm. Yes. I can't have my stuff out on the street, guys. I we can't. We don't want you to get hurt. We don't want. We want you to be safe. We want you to, you know. The ma'am, it, ma'am, it's the sheriff's department. You need to open the door. We're going to force in the door. Josh has offered to go up there and move your stuff to a storage unit if that's what it takes. He will take care of that. He said. <laughs> we got two households here, but thank you, Josh. <laughs> Well, we could get the good stuff anyway, hopefully, but uh, if that would help. Um, you know, we need to be prepared next time for these kinds of events and make sure we got Plan B and C in place. Um, All right. They're coming around. They've got a camcorder also. They're recording. They are recording me in the window. I stepped away where he can't. Oh, my God. I don't know that it ever gets worse than this kind of a situation. I can't imagine this. I just cannot imagine. This is just um, beyond the pale. You know you're doing the right thing, don't you, Don? Yes, ma'am. And why yes. do you know that? Yes. Why do you know you're doing the right thing in your heart? Because we have a corrupt criminal government that is stealing our homes, our properties, our lives, our jobs, moving them overseas, you know, all the same reasons. And then they uh, leave you uh, just basically flapping in the breeze, taking jobs away. You can't get a job. Look. All right, here they come. Get the video camera. Here they come. Here they come. They're coming through the door. They're bashing the door. What do I do? Let them go. Get in the bathroom. Jim. Jim, they're just in the bathroom. I'm going to stand here. Just hold your ground right there. Don't, don't, don't run. They're filming it. All right. Don't they're run. Back to the don't, door, ma- Jim. don't anybody make any fast moves. Don't anybody make any. I'm laying the phone don't, down. Okay, but don't hang it up. I won't. I'm right here. Right. I'm right here. Do I just put my hands out, Jim? Well, are they in the house yet? Not yet. Okay, I when need they to come know. in the house. Just say, listen, I don't need, I, I don't mean any personal harm to anyone, but I am not voluntarily <laughs> surrendering my property to anyone. The bus in the door. Is that recording, guys? Remember, I mean no harm to anyone. I am not the surrendering my house. Comes. 
Should I start saying that now? Well, as soon as, as, soon as you can see them. Okay. Here it comes. Here it comes. They're busting the door. We'll make sure that people know that you meant no harm to anybody. I mean no harm. I mean I mean no harm. I'm on the ground. I am on the ground. I am on the ground. I'm on the ground. There is no dog. Who else is here? My daughter is here. Where are you? Sheriff's office. They're in the house. Where at? Sheriff's office. Come out. They're getting my daughter and her friend. They're putting this all on the ground. My hands are on the back of my head. There is no dog. There is no dog. I am not trespassing. This is my property. I have, I have the paperwork to prove that this is my property. They are stealing. Don't hurt me. They are stealing my property. I have paperwork right there showing that I own this house. Sheriffs, you guys are violating my constitution. Don't you touch my phone. You are violating my constitutional rights. And then they hung up the phone, Joyce. I'll tell you, this was so hard to listen to, but knowing that she was going through it. But listen to how strong this 54-year-old grandmother was. I mean, she's just amazing. Well, as a result of this, I just got a phone call that we had contacted um, the... We got a break, Joyce. Stay there. We got to take a network break. We'll be right back on the other side. Then your phone calls are coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Ton of other news as we track the police state. Stay with us.